Hi everyone. I wanted to show you some pictures of my hair before I shaved it off last November. And um, in 09, I had at least shaved my hair off three times. And the last time I did that was in October of 09. And then at that point I said, okay, I'm just going to grow it out and see how long it'll take for my hair to get six inches. And actually it took a year. My hair grows like a half inch a month. And so what I did is I just left it alone. But in May of last year, I decided to put a light brown hair co um, color in it and it damaged my um, hair. because I got a bald spot. And once I got that bald spot, I just started checking online to find out what I could do to, to um, you know, get the hair to go back. And so I purchased some clove oil and put that on there. It took, a, you know, two to three weeks to grow in, and then after that, I was fine. At least I thought I was. Um, I've always had different hair textures going on in my head. It's like dry, all over woolly in some areas curly in some areas um, even straight in some areas and it's just really been hard for me to manage and I think that's why I made the stupid mistake of putting a relaxer in my hair um, in October of last year and it got everything um, real straight but that's not what I you know, I just really wanted to stay on a natural pathway, but that's, you know, I, I just got frustrated put a relaxer in my hair. And I was just like, ugh, I hate the way it looks. So, what I decided to do um, later is just go ahead and just shave it off. And that's what you'll see in these photos here. In this first photo, um, Look closely, you can see like in the middle of my scalp, there's a little spot there. Now, when I first noticed it, I thought it was because I shaved, it was you know, shaving a little bit too much in that area. But as my hair started to grow out, there's that spot there. And I, again, I don't know if that's from chemical. That's not the same spot where I had the ball spot before where I put the cold oil on. That's another spot. And I saw, I noticed it and I said, oh, it's not growing in. So that's when I started to use the clove oil again. And this was done short, I took these pictures shortly after I did the video on clove oil. And this is how it looks now. Now in this, these shots, I'm attempting to dread my hair. I'm not sure if that's something I want to do or if I just want to keep it natural. Um, it would be kind of fun to see how my hair would look if I had dreads all over. But as you can see, there's no ball spot. And I do admit I got to upload some more pictures to show the ball spot has, you know, the hair has grown in, um, back in, in that area. But hopefully someone can see it and say, oh, okay, I, I can see that it, it grew in. I don't know. I definitely will take some more shots, like part it in the middle so you can see that the ball spot is gone. Um, but again, I'm dealing with different hair textures, so it's like it's curly and straight. And it's just, you know, I'm going to stick it out this time. But it's really hard trying to deal with all the hair textures I got going on in my hair. Um, and I achieved this look with shea butter and water right after a good wash with African raw black soap. Again, it's distilled water. You can just make a shampoo out of it. I just shampooed my hair and I didn't let it dry. I just went ahead and used the shea butter. And I used a comb to back comb it so I twist it so I could see how it looked dreaded. And so it's three inches. And I wanted to share this particular link with you it's going to be at the bottom of my screen but I was trying to look and find out um, normal hair growth rate and, and on this particular website it says in Caucasians the average rate of hair growth 
is approximately one inch per month. And then African Americans have coarse or more brittle hair because of our hair structure so that our hair grows approximately a half inch a month. And Asians have a faster growing hair shaft so that Asians' hair grows at least two inches a month. And my sister-in-law is proof of that. Her hair is like twice as long as it was the last time I saw her, probably longer than that now. But I know with African-American hair, our hair is not all the same. So I can't, you know, of course, my hair might grow a half inch a month, but it might be someone out there whose hair might grow an inch or more a month. I guess it really depends on your DNA. But with coarser hair, um, our hair, uh, um, with someone like my hair or coarser, our hair, that's just how it grows. As long as it's healthy and that it's not breaking. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we get it the length that we want it to be. So, yeah, I um, am still dealing with, you know, the four textures in my hair. So I can't go by Lois and I can't go by Andre Walker system. And um, I know for the women that can, they are able to manage their hair much better than someone that's in my shoes who have four textures going on. So... I just, you know, that's still the most frustrating thing is that it being, you know, really hard for me to manage it. Um, the most frustrating is the dryness. It's not real dry, but I just don't like dry hair, even though that might be my, you know, even though my hair might be healthy, I don't like it to be dry, you know, and, um, and so what I've been doing to manage my curly, woolly, straight, coarse hair, um, dry hair, is I wash it maybe twice a month, and I use African raw black soap. I just take a little bit of soap and let it sit overnight in distilled water, and then turns into a shampoo for me I shampoo my hair and as soon as I come out of the um from shampooing I go ahead and just lather it up with um raw unrefined African shea butter and um put it in the um put it in a scarf after that and I just do not touch it and um the other thing that I use in my hair every once in a while after washing it I'll put like some 100% coconut oil in it nothing else just for it to just be light I don't want to invest in a lot of hair products in fact I think what I just shared would be pretty much it I don't want hair pudding or um, gels or any of that stuff in my hair I don't want anything that's gonna make it heavy or dirty or have I just I don't want that and um, I really going to stick to that because I'm looking at the prices of some of these natural hair product lines and they're totally not affordable for me. Um, I'm not sure who can afford it. I mean, I figured if I'm going to go natural, then I want to buy natural products and I don't want to spend a lot of money for it. If I want to spend a lot of money, then I, I might as well just use the hair products that are made in labs. And, I, and how I feel about natural hair products versus other hair products is that you just, you have to find what works best for you. Um, and for me, it's, my thing is as long as it's not damaging my hair or altering it, then, and it works for whatever it is that I'm trying to get my hair to do, then I'm fine with that. And the length that it is now, which is three inches is not much I can do to it anyway but once it grows out like six inches or more then I'll be able to do more with it you know and the most I can see me doing with my hair is probably like twists you know and I have also thought about dreading my hair as you can see in some of these holes in particular this one um, um, I you know I, I would like to try that out and so I can try out um, styles that could lead me into locking my hair um, 
again, the only product that I would use is shea butter and water or just not, you know, put anything on my hair and just let it lock on its own. Um, so, I mean, there, you know, I'm just looking forward to my hair growing out more, you know, where I can play with it and um, try to figure out what styles I want. Like, if I'm just going to leave it alone, leave it natural, then um, there's some styles I was doing before I had put that perm in my hair and the photos that you've seen earlier, and I wish I had took pictures of it. Um, nothing big, just, you know, right after you wash your hair, you have the water glistening on your hair strands, and you're like, ooh, you know, just looking at it. Um, and then you take, like, some oil, and you just do some braid, like, bra do individual braids or individual twists, and you just leave it in your hair. You're not trying to, like, take them out or anything. You just leave it in your hair until it gets to the point where you're tired of it, and then you just take it out and, you know, wash your hair. So it's different styles that I was doing with my hair um, before I put the perm in it. But once I put the perm in it, I couldn't do that anymore. So anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to um, doing other styles with my hair as it grows out. But I'm really thinking about doing dreads and again I don't you know I like versatility that's the one reason why I just would just stick with it being natural um, but I can always like just be natural and then just transition into dreads you know it wouldn't take long for me to do that especially when I it's sure that I got all these textures going on I, I would just let them traffic jam on each other and create a dread so Anyway, I hope this video has helped someone out there. Um, I basically just wanted to touch base with you, show you some pictures of my hair before I shaved it off last year to show, show you how long it had um, got from 09 of October to um, 2010 October. And I wanted to show you, um, you know, I wanted to show you how long it got. And then I also wanted to show you, you know, the pictures right after I shaved it off. And also that I did notice a bald spot. And like I said, I'm not sure where it came from. If it was a bald spot due to me shaving too close in that particular area. If it was a bald spot due to the chemicals that was put in my hair. Whether it was relaxer or the hair color. Um, because this was totally different from the one that was there before that. That totally just started to fill up after I used the clove oil. And um, if you don't think I did a good job in showing you that the ball spot had cleared up um, just let me know um, because then it would make me quick you know um, um, I will go ahead and just part my hair and so that you could see you know take a picture and so did you see that that ball spot did clear up because maybe these pictures will show it or maybe they won't um, just let me know um, and that's it. And um, if you could, you know, just let me know what you think about me going um, with dreads. Um, I do value other people's opinions. Um, so let me know what you think. All right. Thanks for watching this video.